Hello, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors, and we just brought our 69 Mustang down to the other shop. I wanted to throw it up on the lift real quick uh, so we could show everybody what the underside of the car looked like. Uh, the car is super solid under here. I'm really surprised. First time we've had it up on the lift. I crawled around under it when we bought it uh, just to check it out. Um, let's kind of show you some of the things we found. I've kind of already talked about these before. Here's that little bubble that's in the rear quarter back here. Uh, about this little bit bigger than a quarter, about the size of a quarter right there. Uh, we need to clean just a little bit of tar off of the bottom of the car. Uh, this is that driver's door. Driver's door's got these uh, rust bubbles underneath this decal. That truck get by here. Uh, these rust bubbles are all under just this decal here on this side of the driver's door. They're very little on the other driver's door. But um, that being said, just thought we'd let everybody see that. Uh, the rest of the car is really nice and clean under here. Uh, here's where the front chin spoiler is mounted. They did a nice job, put all the correct uh, screws in it. Uh, the front, uh, th this is the radiator core support. These are known to have rust in them. These are really nice and clean. Here's the, the support for your front fender. This is the main subframe. It's kind of like an I-beam type subframe that runs back. That's in really good shape. Car does have front sway bars on it. Um, there's your fuel pump up in there. Uh, here's your uh, front main seal. Looks very nice and dry. The pan doesn't have a whole bunch of crap on it. Nothing's dripping down. Really super dry. Uh, even around the, the drain bolt. If you get up in here, the front end has Zerk fittings. Um, that All the, uh, the holders that hold the uh, tie rod ends in and even the ball joints are greasable ball joints. Uh, nothing's all blown apart. The dust covers on them are still intact. The front sway bar, the bushings look really good in it. Uh, the headers are nice and solid. They are not painted really pretty, but they do come back here to two and a half inch exhaust to a full H pipe. Um, both sides, you got two and a half all the way out. Dual exhaust, dual mufflers. <laughs> it is a Ford nine inch rear end. Um, do believe it to be a posi whenever I try turning one wheel or the other, they both turn the same way. So that's indicative of it being a true posi rear end. Um, got the great big Ford nine inch pumpkin. You can still see the stickers on the exhaust. Like I said, it's two and a half chrome tips welded in all the way back. Um, the exhaust looks like it's fairly recent. You can still see the stickers up on the mounting brackets for the exhaust. Uh, no rust under here, guys. Um, here's the, the corners. Up in here, no rust. Here you can even see a piece of, uh, this is one of the drains in the body. There's no rust there. No Bondo up in this corner. No Bondo up in here. Uh, the car is all solid metal. It does look like it's had some sort of an undercoating kind of deal sprayed on uh, the main part of the car. Uh, but other than that, there's no rust. The corners up in here, a couple of cobwebs, but uh, no rust in here. Uh, here's your, your corner for where your outer and inner fender well meet. Your pinch welds are still in really good shape. No rust up inside where these pinch welds meet. These things are known, notorious for rusting out up in here. Your boxes for your subframe connectors where they connect to the, to the, the body of the car, no rust. You can see up in here the transmission's really super nice and dry. Um, a little bit of uh, uh, oil right here around the rear transmission seal, but there's really nothing dripping and I don't see it thrown all over the place. So that's a really good sign. Um, not, and that seal there is not that hard to replace, pull the drive shaft out, but it looks like it's good for a couple thousand more miles anyway. Here's the other subframe connector. Very nicely done. We've got no rust up here in the corners. Through your transmission cross brace mounts. Both sides, oil free, there's not oil slung all over. Look up in here, um, does have this kind of like this undercoating kind of cover, but these pans look to be, they were either replaced, completely replaced and sprayed. You can see where they got a little bit of that undercoating underneath the bottom here. But the pinch welds on here are gorgeous. Um, really, no, here's look at the little edge of this metal right here. No rust in this car. Uh, up, you can see up inside the fender. Um, up in here, other than the dead spider that's up there, 
uh, super, super nice. Um, very, very impressed with the underside of this car. There's no places. These are notorious for rusting out around these drain holes. Um, so here's even the numbers on the rear. Most of these are covered in uh, uh, so much Bondo and old paint, you can't even find the numbers on the, the bottom uh, uh, runners. Um, damn it, trying to think of what, <laughs> anyway, right underneath the doors here, the sill jams. Um, here, up here is the, where the springs bolt in, no rust here. And these are really bad for rusting out where these back springs mount in, both sides, no rust either side. Uh, only thing we've got is a little bit of spider webs, but no rust. So, one more time, this is Daryl, Passing Lane Motors, uh, 1969. Uh, two-door hard top or actually it's a two-door vinyl top Mustang uh, we didn't even talk about the tank looks like uh, the tank is in great shape probably been replaced looks like it's been replaced with a stainless steel or a galvanized tank so no rust there either um, I score this car really high uh, aesthetically maybe uh, not score it so high because I mean it would be nice if it was all sanded down and super painted but uh, as far as being completely rust free wow a very, very nice undercarriage on a Mustang. Thanks so much for looking, and if you have any questions, don't forget, call Daryl, Passing Lane Motors, 636-600-1140. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye now.